Hey what's up everybody, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to back up any partition on your rooted Android device. This will definitely be useful for people that want more backup options than the standard 3 or 4 partitions that most custom recoveries will allow you to back up, or if you simply want to make a backup of say your system partition without leaving Android. And it should also help Samsung owners get a quick copy of their EFS partition or any mounting point where an IMEI might be stored since losing one of those while flashing a ROM can be disastrous. The app is called Partitions Backup and it was created by developer Wano. A free version is available on the Google Play Store, so search it by name to get it installed and we'll see how it all works. Now when you first launch the app, it'll ask for super user access, so hit Grant on this pop-up. After that, it'll generate a list of all the partitions that make up your device's software. But before you go backing them all up, there's a couple of settings that you should check out. First, you should set whether you want these backup files stored on your internal SD card or an external card if your device has one. Beyond that, there are three different file types that you can choose for your backup. The default extension should work if you just intend on storing these backups somewhere, since it actually applies a bit of compression to reduce the file size. But depending on how you might be restoring these files, you may want to change that. If you're using a Samsung device, set this to TAR Archive so that you can restore this backup using Odin if need be. Otherwise, if you're using any other device with an unlocked bootloader, the easiest way to restore these would be with fastboot commands. And since fastboot is only capable of flashing image files, set this to IMG and you'll be able to restore the partition later. Beyond all that though, creating a backup is really simple. Just select the partition or partitions that you want to backup, then hit this button down here. After confirming your selection, the app will get to work making a backup of your partitions. When it's done, the files will be saved on your SD card in a folder called Partitions Backups. So now you can rest a bit easier knowing that you have the important bits of your stock ROM ready as a fallback plan. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!